We have put the gangster disciples on the American agenda again tonight. Last night we reported on how this street gang in Chicago is making a fortune selling illegal drugs. Now the gangster disciples wish us to believe that they are ready to do good. They are planning to become a major political force in Chicago. With the results of a World News Tonight investigation, ABC's Aaron Hayes. In Chicago last fall, a march to protest school problems surprised the political establishment by rallying thousands of young people in the city streets. Many of those marchers were gang members because the political organization that sponsored the rally, 21st Century Vote, has deep ties to a criminal street gang, the Gangster Disciple Nation. The Gangster Disciples, police say, is one of the country's most violent drug-dealing gangs, viciously controlling a third of the drug trade in Chicago, with an army of 30,000 members who follow orders. And one of those orders was to show up at that political march according to this gangster disciple member who had no idea why he was sent there. I don't really know what the march was about, but they had us down. I don't know. I don't ask no questions why this and why we had to go there. We just do. They want, they want to see a lot of people show up there. I don't know why. But gang leaders knew they were building numbers. It was a show of political force. And I want to make sure that everybody's registered. Dwayne Harris, identified by police as a member of the Gangster Disciples, is also the president of 21st Century Vote. The group's plan, he says, is to use political power to improve inner-city neighborhoods, gain better jobs for residents. And if gang members want to help, he says he will accept them, no questions asked. We're trying to come up with solutions to help them turn themselves around and get involved politically, positive, and, and become become more interested in the community. With the work and growing numbers of 21st century vote have, despite the gang's involvement, impressed a good many politicians. If they were organized properly, they have the potential to elect people or unelect people. One they'd like to unelect is Chicago Mayor Richard Daley. When Joe Gardner announced last month he's going to challenge Daley, he welcomed the support of 21st century vote unconcerned about their ties to the gang. And Jerry Washington, who lost a race for state representative, welcomed gang members' involvement in his campaign. If it takes the gangs to get something constructive started in this community, to get good folks, common folks, inspired to be back into the thrust of a movement to help save a community and stabilize it, uh, then let's use it. Let's utilize it. How are you doing? Hi. My name is Dwayne Harris, and I'm from 21st Century Vote. Some respected community groups have also accepted 21st Century Votes' claim that its primary purpose is to serve the community. Would you like to register? But police insist just the opposite is true. Gang investigators have told ABC News they are convinced the 21st Century Vote political organization was created primarily to protect and expand the power and influence of the gangster disciples. In fact, they say it was here at the Vienna State Prison in Illinois that the 21st Century Vote Political Committee was conceived by the acknowledged leader of the Gangster Disciples, convicted murderer Larry Hoover. He discussed his plans to acquire political power in a monitored telephone conversation two years ago. See, the, the vote is the most important thing. see it more than anything. It's our political power. All we have to do is put our program together, find our program. So that's my main focus right there. The kids Hoover referred to, gang members, involved in a vicious gang war. Hoover had publicly called for a gangland truce, but the Chicago gang war has actually escalated. Gang-related killings are up 150% over this time last year. And much of the violence, according to police, stems from the gangster disciples' own drug dealing activity, which they say Hoover himself continues to control. Larry Hoover is still directing the criminal activities from, of the gangster disciples' street gang from his prison cell. Those activities include extortion, drug dealing, and violent crimes. Police believe Hoover and the gangster disciples are gathering political power to benefit their own criminal enterprise. I think their ultimate objective, in my opinion, is to uh, get officials that they can control uh, elected. You know, we're moving into a new era, man. <laughs> totally political.
And in this gangster disciple meeting, secretly taped by state police during a narcotics investigation, a gang lieutenant tells gang members politics is now a top priority. You know, we're trying to put people in the office, man, to where it's going to benefit us. We're trying to take people out of office, you know, to where it's hurting us. Police also charge the gang is using 21st century vote to get its leader, Larry Hoover, out of prison. This letter on 21st century vote letterhead was sent to the Illinois Parole Board in support of Hoover's release. And longtime gang investigators like Chicago's Bob Dart are convinced the gangster disciples are using 21st century vote as a cover to shield their criminal activities from police scrutiny. If they say it's political, we can't investigate. That's because Chicago police ran into trouble here in the 1960s for spying on the anti-war and black power movement. After that, the court severely restricted police investigations of political groups. And when gangster disciples meet as members of 21st century vote, they are a political group. We're in a catch-22 situation, and the street gang is well aware of that. Uh, they know very well that all they got to do is close their front door, and they put us out of uh, business. And federal agents worry the political model may be exported. They say the gangster disciples have chapters and affiliates in over 150 cities from Topeka, Kansas to Orlando, Florida. They are many, many times larger than the mafia. They are the new mafia. They are the mafia of the future. Okay. Many Chicago community leaders are angry. They say empowering a street gang is no way to help a community. They're, they're not removing people from the gang culture. What they're doing is they're just putting one, a person into another different organization who has the same agenda, the same game that they're always doing. And they're still selling drugs and they're still